Hello, and welcome to European Studies at the University of Hong Kong. At Hong Kong, learning is more than just learning about a subject. It's about expanding your character and learning what kind of questions you can even ask, expanding the things you can be curious about, and perhaps one of the most important things, it's about expanding who you know, building out your social networks, learning more about the world, and meeting new people. All of that is, uh, adds up to good reasons to study Europe at Hong Kong U. Why else should you study Europe? You should study Europe because of Europe's culture and its civilization. Perhaps you want to study Europe because it is a large economy and, well, the largest economy in the world. This is one reason why European studies provides good career prospects here in Hong Kong. There are so many European employers who wish to have Cantonese-speaking employees in Hong Kong who can speak Cantonese, English, Putonghua, and the European language of the host employer. The European Union is also a key global player in international relations, and if you are interested in current events, this is in itself an important reason to study Europe. There is also simply the appeal and interest of Europe's languages, civilizations, its ideas, and its institutions. All of these sum up to reasons to study Europe at HKU. Europe is, quite obviously, all over current events. Today it is the war in Ukraine. Tomorrow it might be something else. Along the way it's been COVID, it's been the Eurozone crisis, it's been Brexit. There have been waves of Islamic terrorism in Europe that have come and gone. And there have been millions of refugees fleeing from the Middle East and North Africa to Europe in the last 10 years. These are all important reasons for your interest in Europe. What does European studies cover? It's interdisciplinary in nature. This means that we focus on many different disciplines, history, the history of art, philosophy, economics, literature, in as much as they pertain to Europe. If you are more interested in history, then with European studies, you are free to take more courses on European history. If it is politics or economics of Europe that interest you, then you can take more courses on that. This is the nature of our interdisciplinary area studies program. We also provide fantastic opportunities to double major. I'll talk more about those in a little bit. Our program provides you with expertise on European affairs. It is holistic and interdisciplinary in its nature, as I've already described, and it seeks to understand the basics of the different European traditions, the ways of life, the cultures, the values, the beliefs, the lifestyles, and identities that inform so much of Europe today. Practically, we offer an undergraduate program, a BA in European Studies. What does this mean for you? It is an undergraduate full-time degree program. It has very few core courses. Three one-semester core courses, one summer course. The rest of our courses are either electives or language requirements. This means you have a wide range of electives to choose from. Many more electives to choose from than in most either language studies courses or most disciplinary programs like politics or history. We also have a language requirement. All European studies students must take a European language with us at the University of Hong Kong. This is an exciting opportunity to get to know a European culture in greater depth and detail by learning about their language. The field trip to Europe will be an exciting opportunity to do the same with your eyes and ears firsthand. For many of our students, it is their first time overseas or their first time to Europe. It can be yours as well and we provide financial assistance for students who are unable to do so on their own. To give you a sense of what you might study, and to be clear, you have many choices. Your course of study here with us does not have to resemble this course of study at all. The courses listed in bold here are required courses with European studies that a student might take. All of the others are electives, courses you can choose to take or not choose to take, depending on your interest. Do you want to learn about contemporary European politics? Then study that. Do you want to learn about Europe and its relations with China? Then study that. Or perhaps instead, you want to learn about European cinema or study the First World War. Then you can do that too. I said before that you are required to take two years of a European language. We offer seven European languages. 
Four of those languages are also majors in their own right, Spanish, French, German, and Italian. This means that you can choose between majoring in European studies or majoring in, for example, Spanish. What's the difference? A Spanish major will require a student to take at least three years of Spanish language. A European studies major requires a little less, only two. We also offer three other languages that are not majors in their own right, Portuguese, Russian, and Swedish. If you wish to learn Swedish, if you wish to learn Russian and learn about Sweden and Russia, you can take these courses from the Swedish and Russian programs and then count them to your European studies major. There are also great opportunities to expand your language learning with summer language schools and with study abroad. I mentioned that many of our students double major. There are a lot of popular double major combinations. Many students double major in European studies on the one hand and a European language on the other, such as French, German, Spanish. Other students have a disciplinary major like history or philosophy. Both of these arrangements are quite popular. We also have a large number of students from outside the arts faculty who are economics or finance or sociology majors. These are all wonderful combinations. When choosing European studies as a major, it's important to understand what makes it similar to and different from other major opportunities you may have. It's different from a major like history or politics or sociology because unlike in those programs, you have to learn a language two full years of study in one European language. But it's different from the language majors because even that, those two years, is less than what the language majors require, three years or more of study to major in French or German or Spanish. You won't have the same level of language fluency with two years of study that you will with three or four. If you want that, you can take additional courses with us and you can continue in your French language study and count that toward your European studies major or you can major directly in French or German and one of those European languages. And so this is a middle point between a history major with no language requirement and a French major, for example, which has a quite high requirement. One of the problems students face with a very high language learning requirement is they dedicate so much of their university time to language learning and therefore block out opportunities to learn about other subjects along the way. If you want to have a broader array of knowledge about things beyond the narrow study of one language, then maybe a European studies major is the right choice for you. Who are we? We have a very international staff of European studies instructors, very interdisciplinary in our focus. I'm trained as an historian. My colleagues are trained in international relations and political science, in film, in language, in semiotics. We're all committed to research and the open exchange of ideas, and we have ourselves both personally strong links to Europe and, of course, encourage uh, field trips to Europe for our students. We have a number of partner universities across Europe where you can do study abroad and exchanges, where you can do language schools and language study uh, abroad, and we have European visiting professors coming here and teaching to our European studies programs. So these all provide additional layers for you to engage with and learn about Europe and, more generally, about the broader world. Of the most exciting and important elements of your engagement with Europe is the Summer in Europe program. We send all of our European Studies students to Europe for two or more weeks during the summer, usually between their second or third years, although we're happy to change the year and the scheduling if that meets your needs. This is at the University of Utrecht in the Netherlands, wonderful university with an exciting and international environment where there is a wide range of courses available which you would not otherwise be able to take at the University of Hong Kong. You are also then, after this study in the Netherlands, expected to travel to the, uh, the European country corresponding to the language you are learning. If you're learning Russian, go to Russia. If you're learning German, go to Germany or Austria. If you're learning Spanish, go to Spain. Visit this country, perhaps for the first time. See it firsthand. Speak the language with locals. Learn about it. Engage. Explore and expand yourself. To find out more, go to europe.hku.hk. Thank you very much.